So we have to keep our mind in Christ. And let me continue. And right and pure and lovely and, and, and admirable. So it said, fix your thoughts on things that is true, honorable, right, pure, and lovely, and, and, and adorable, and admirable, sorry, and admirable. Think about things, things about things that are excellent, worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learn and receive from me. Everything you hear from me and saw me do it. Then the God of peace will be with you. So here, Paul was talking to them and said, listen, practice the things of God, the things that I teach you. I taught you about the mind. Practice it, think of things because what happened? If you do not take control over your mind, if you do not take authority over your mind, your mind will lead you out of Christ. Your mind will lead you astray. You'll be like wandering in the wilderness as children of Israel. So you have to take control over your mind. When thoughts come, bring it into captivity of Christ. Reject it. Every time a thought comes to rebel against the things of God, reject it. Said so this thought is not of God. One of the things I do, I put it, I said, God, I don't think this thought is of you, but it's all of me. If it is of you, show me. If it's not of you, God, I reject it, I renounce it, I destroy it to the power of the Holy Spirit. If it's of you, then God, show me, then this thought is of you. And if it's of God, He, he will confirm it. But what you're doing, you're not entertaining anything in your mind that is not of Christ. You make sure you put it before God and ask God to destroy the seed of the thoughts and help you to think on things that is praiseworthy, that is honorable, mighty God, lovely and worthy of praise. So if the thought that you are thinking does not glorify God, reject it, let it go. So Satan, you will not use my mind as a playground to deceive me and to distract me. Mighty God. 